I'm Bradley Johnson with 1-800-DUI-AWAY. Not getting behind the wheel after drinking is the best choice. But if you're pulled over, the next best choice is to call 1-800-DUI-AWAY. It's another Jubal phone tab. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on moving 92.5. Hello? Hi, is this Kirk? T- yes, sir. Hey, Kirk, how are you? My name is Darvin Wood, and I'm the vice principal at your child's elementary school. Oh, hi. Yeah. Uh, Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. I just wanted to call you because your son, Daniel, uh, apparently spoke with his teacher regarding career day and said that you were scheduled to attend. Yes, that's correct. Right. Well, there could actually be an issue with that. Okay. What's the issue? Daniel actually says he doesn't want you there. Dan said he doesn't want me there for career day? Yes, because he says that you work as a pharmacist, that's correct? Yes, sir. And I don't know how to say this, but your son Daniel doesn't respect your profession, and he even referred to you as a pill pusher. A pill pusher? Yeah, yeah. My son said this. Yes, and also many of the kids... so he doesn't want me to come to career day because he doesn't respect my profession. Right, and many of the kids in the class feel the same. The other kids in the class also do not respect my profession. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. You're not on any pills, are you, right now? Because that's what I said. Yeah, no, I heard you. I heard you. I'm just trying to seek clarification here. I'm sorry. (laughs) Well, you know Um, what they say, don't get high off your own supply, right? (laughs) That's not funny to me. I'm actually kind of worked up right here about this situation. I don't think this is a good time to make jokes. Listen, I'm not a comedian. Timing is not my specialty. Probably should have kept that joke in the holster, huh? Yeah, you probably should have kept that joke in the holster. All right, well, I'll holster all the funny, and we'll get back to business then. Yeah, okay. Going back to what you said, the other children in the class also don't respect my career, so I'm not going to be there at career day. So my right. profession is just not going to be respected at career day. I want to make sure that's what you're saying. Right. The kids said that they don't want Big Pharma at their career day. That's... They don't want Big Pharma? The kids cannot have possibly said that. And I don't work for Big Pharma. Well, you are a pharmacist. So you do kind of work for Big Pharma. No, actually, I'm a pharmacist. I work for the people who come into the pharmacy to get their medication that they need to survive. Well, you know, to me, that does sound a little bit like Big Pharma. If I were to pull that up on Wikipedia, it'd probably be... Are you kidding me right now? You think that because I work for a a pharmacy that I I all of a sudden represent Pfizer? I mean, this is absolutely insane. And you, you allow your children to, what, vote by committee? To allow people to come to career day? Well, we asked them who they want to speak, and yes, they said they don't want you there, and I did find a... Who else is on this list? Tell me one other career that's on this list. Well, we've got a a great guy coming to speak. He's a divorce attorney, and I'm going to actually have him... a divorce attorney come in? I'm sorry, that person passed muster with the children, and a pharmacist does not? Well, you know, divorce attorneys actually do some good in the world. I've been divorced three times, and every time I've gotten out of paying alimony. This is been... insane. I can't believe that you're, you're, you're a role model for the students of this school, and you're pushing a divorce attorney, and you're not allowing a pharmacist to speak at the same career day. Do you see well, how crazy that is? I just think that the kids are going to learn a valuable life lesson, that everybody needs a good divorce attorney, much more than a low-life pharmacist, you know? Did you That's just call kinda... me a low-life? Did, I'm sorry, did you just call me a low-life? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. I, that was me okay, lashing out. you know out. what? I don't know how you got your job over there, but I'm going to make sure that you do not have it for long. Well, and you know, on top of that, I feel really uncomfortable having my child in your school to learn from anything that you have to say. All right. It sounds like you're passionate and you would like to speak at the career day. I don't give a shit about career day. What I oh. care about is that you are excluding people from it because of popular opinion from a bunch of seven-year-olds. Well, let's say mm, there was some sort of exchange. I'd be more than willing to let you speak. What are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. You know, uh, the divorce attorney who's speaking, he's offered me a 15% kickback on any business that's referred to him by one of the children. You're you're, you're, accepting bribes right now? Is this actually happening? This is a public school. Bribe's a pretty strong word. I would consider this more of a gentleman's agreement. (laughs) Do you know how this sounds? I think it sounds like me and you are making a deal, and I don't know if you had any Oxycontin lying around or perhaps some Adderall. Oh, my God. Are you serious right now? We're just, you know, speaking in hypotheticals, and let's say hypothetically you were able to score me some oxy. What? Maybe oh, you I could going get to you jail, into the... dude. You are f- done. Do you understand? You're never going to work in another school as long as you live. Well, I agree, because I don't even work in a school right now, because this is a prank phone call. What? 
This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you, and your wife Leslie set you up. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> yes, I am. She told me that you were booked for a career day and wanted to play a prank on you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am sorry I yelled at you. Oh, that's okay. I was fine. I've, I've taken some Xanax, so I'm cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up every morning with Jubal Phone Tabs. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5.